TJ. Uh, Mr. Speaker, sir, we are very happy that you are on the ch chair today because today looks like it's an eventful day. Uh, members of the assembly are very, very happy and pleased for some reason. Mr. Speaker, M Mr. Speaker, okay, go yes. you can see that uh, this House has some very well-dressed members. They are undoubtedly very pleasantly dressed, for sure. And somehow they are coping from you because uh, they are taking the stripes of your gown. Uh, Where, where, whereas the meaning of that is unknown, I, I also see that the, the former major, leader of majority has also succumbed to this temptation of putting uh, very colorful uh, ties. But Mr. Speaker, sir, I'm addressing myself to the order in the plenary. Um, those of us who have been here for uh, a little longer I've come to know what is the tradition of attire, decorum, and proceedings of the assembly. Many of us also, who have not been here for some longer period, are learning. But Mr. Speaker, sir, is it in order that uh, a general group of members of parliament find themselves dressed in a particular manner so as to suggest uh, their political affiliations and aspirations uh, in terms of political parties. <laughs> Mr. Speaker, sir, this is uh, the National Assembly of the people of the Republic of Kenya assembled. These members represent not only their constituencies, but they represent the nation as a republic. When we come to this assembly, of course we come with our political persuasions in, uh, in heart, but we don't express them because we express the nation. This is the essence of Article 1 and Article 10 of the people. When we come here, Mr. Speaker, we do not show our partisan approach in issues, but we show that wherever we are and in divergent uh, um, extractions that we find ourselves, we express that we are the people of the Republic of Kenya. So when I see uh, the member of Garissa dressed as he is. And uh, I also see that nominated member, I do not know where, which constituency he represents, but I suppose he represents uh, a, con a very important community called people living with disabilities. But when I see them in equal attire, I start imagining how a ranking member decided to descend himself to the position of a junior member so as to show, uh, Mr. Speaker, Mr. Speaker, so as to come to show you as the Speaker his or her political persuasions. I think this is out of order. I think this is b bringing this House into disrepute. I think given an opportunity, if this is how we are going to proceed, you know that members of this side have better dressings than you anyway. As a matter of principle, as a matter of preference, uh, as a matter of preference, uh, Mr. Speaker, I know that orange for me is more colorful than yellow. But I've chosen not to, t to bring my, 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 my orange dress to the house because when I come here, I come representing the people of the Republic. Mr. Speaker, this is a, a very important issue. It is not only constitutional, it is not only reflecting, yes, it is constitutional. I've referred to Article 1, I've referred to Article 10, national values. These are principles that we hold dear. And we come here to protect the Constitution. 
All of us are here and we swore to protect the Constitution, one of which is Article 10. Mr. Speaker, sir. M M Mr. Speaker, sir. If the members would allow, if the members will tolerate uh, the discussion, th 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 this is a debating chamber, Mr. Speaker. And so I request you, Mr. Speaker, to make a considered ruling if within the law, and we need the standing orders applicable. Members who are adorned in a particular color, which suggests their political affiliations that we know in the plea, whether it is they are properly dressed and they are properly before the National Assembly in the manner in which they, are, they appear. Um, the, 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 the thoughts that into making the robes that you, you wear the thoughts that went into that uh, robe that you wear was, was a patriotic uh, a decision, was thoughtful decision. You are representing the nation, you are repre representing the National Assembly of the Republic. But when these members behave the way they are, including the masks the mask they wear, some of them I cannot see them because they are in... Uh, some, some, some ap ap apparels, some apparels that have been able, I suppose they can continue, but Mr. Speaker, I even suppose that the undergarments must be yellow today for all I care. So Mr. Speaker, I request you to make a considered a patriotic constitutional decision, treating this issue not as a, a, a pedestrian uh, discussion, but giving it the respect that this house stands for. Otherwise, all of us would one day come and say what we must say and show all our political uh, 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 persuasions and our persu uh, uh, political shades of this house. Mr. Speaker, sir, I beg for your ruling. No, sorry, no, members, uh, you know, it is also time bound. If you look at standing order 225, it is time bound. So, uh, the, the interventions I'm going to, uh, which I'm seeing, I'm, as, I'm going to assume that they are with regard to the, to the petition. That, that other, that, that other one, you, you'll not be able to assist me to do that. I, you know, I'm all, I will be able to do it without uh, your input. So, so don't, 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 let's not discuss that. Let's not discuss that. I'm sure, you know, we would want, that altercation is not going to help anybody. I can only allow the member for Garissa Township because, because he is the one who was mentioned. And the member for and the, and nominee 001. The, the rest were not mentioned, please. If you, if you notice, uh, please, just stick to what the Honorable TJ addressed. He, he addressed the issue of uh, dress. The speaker, you know the mode of dress. And Mr. Speaker, I want to say it for free. If the yellow ties and the dresses are a problem to you, you have to prepare yourself psychologically. <laughs> because, because you are going to see it in the near future. It is the current no, and now, the future. Now, Thank now, you, Mr. Speaker. Now, Honorable Duale. Now, honourable members, honourable members, is it the honourable Tengeret? Please, honourable keep Tengeret. Koros, yes. Please, you are in the National Assembly. That behaviour of walking here with the hands raised up, it's village, it's village. It's very pedestrian. Refrain, fr refrain from that, from doing that. I, and, I, and I say it, it looks like uh, the, uh, the, as the tail end of this uh, parliament draws, looks like members are forgetting. You, have, you, you are otherwise a very honorable member. I don't know what has suddenly, what has suddenly gotten into you. Don't, don't repeat that. Don't repeat that. If you want to say something, you... What the Speaker of the Senate did to allow the Senator for Narok, I will wear my mask. It's a good day for me today. I will make the mask. That even you didn't allow the way the Senate Speaker allowed the member for Senator for Narok to come with his chuka.
Mr. Speaker, none of the members is wearing sugar. The ladies are dressed nicely and beautiful in yellow. The men are dressed in the, one of the best suits with the best ties. And Mr. Speaker, you know, history will judge us. There are many people who today are not sleeping because Kawanjiko is in the house. So it is not me, Mr. Speaker. It is the people of Kiambu. So, Mr. Speaker, as you retreat to discuss, and I, and I know with your experience, you even don't need to give a ruling. You, when I come with my party, UDA, the party of the future, Mr. Speaker, the party that will form government. So, Mr. Speaker, don't blame me. You, can, you blame my family. I bought this tie a long time ago, and I have ties that are even orange that I used to wear when I was in ODM. And tomorrow, if I come to, back to ODM, Honorable TJ, welcome me. I have enough ties of URP, of Jubilee, of ODM. I, I have around. I, Honorable Kirai to spoke last night. If you are in this house and you want to buy under Jubilee, then you are signing your death warrant politically. <laughs> Thank you, Mr. Speaker. Thank you very much. Thank you very much, Honorable Speaker. And Honorable Speaker, I have been adversely mentioned by TJ Kajuang, whom we, Honorable TJ Kajuang, whom we know very well as uh, CJ Bonoko. Honorable Speaker, and the last person to comment on such matters, Honorable Speaker, should be somebody who has sworn in an illegal president. He committed treason. If it was not for a handshake, Honorable T.J. Kajuang is a good candidate for committee, Honorable Speaker. And he's the one pointing fingers. You know, Honorable Speaker, it is funny in Kenya that people keep on uh, pointing fingers at others, not going back to their memory lane, Honorable Speaker. Honorable Speaker, His Excellency Adam Dwala have just enumerated occasions in which uh, uh, Honorable T.J. Kajuang misbehaved and was totally out of order within the parliament and outside this house, Honorable Speaker. Honorable Speaker, and I don't know, know why people are so much excited because of this yellow color. Honorable Speaker, I've been wearing green, which is associated with a village party called for the Kenya, Honorable Speaker. I've been wearing a red suit, Honorable Speaker, associated with my Jubilee party, Honorable Speaker. And, and, and nobody, I think his wife did not see very well that he, he needed orange. Now he came with yellow, Honorable Speaker. So welcome to the club. Honorable Speaker, so, to finish, Honorable Speaker, to, uh, to sum up, Honorable Speaker, you should not be so much excited because of the win of Kawanjiko. CJ, TJ, Honorable TJ Kajuang, or CJ Noko, you can at, as well take Kariri Njama to Uru Park and swear him in, because I hear for the first time in the history of this country, I am a member of Jubilee Party, the ruling party. Imagine the whole government and the ruling party going to court claiming that uh, votes were stolen. You know, it have never happened anywhere in the world, Honorable Speaker. It is so funny, Honorable Speaker, but I think it is because of uh, uh, what we started with uh, <coughs> CJ Kajuang, the handshake, Honorable Speaker. And Honorable Speaker, lastly, uh, Honorable Speaker, I congratulate you. Yesterday you were in uh, uh, Moranga, and uh, you were attending a burial ceremony, and you sent the condolences on behalf of uh, the first in command. You know, the parking orders. There is one, the first in command, that is uh, Uru Kanyata. The second is William Ruto. The third is you in command, Honorable Speaker. And from all indication, in 2022, the first in command will not be in the ballot box. They will be the first, the second, and the third. So the, the race will be between two horses, the second and the third. The rest are Pundamulia. Thank you very much, Honorable Speaker. Now, now. Now, honourable members, uh, you know, it's a, it's a, it's a, it's a sad moment that uh, now the time allocated for comments on petition is actually running out. On the petition. Yeah, let's, let's, let's forget about the, on the petition. Thank you, honourable speaker. And I wish to stand to support this petition, Honorable Speaker, by Mr. Isaac Njoroge and Ms. Mary Njoki on behalf of their children, Mary Wanjiro and Boniface.